everyone this is a little update vlog from me because it's been forever but i've been so busy a lot's been going on over the last few months slash probably last year actually i've really struggled to do vlogs and videos and stuff like that but here we are i have left gp i know when i say i've left i've left I've left the NHS altogether. Um, I can't say who I'm working for and I can't say anything about my role because it's very confidential and stuff like that um, and can put me more at risk of being harassed and targeted and stuff like that. So I'm not gonna go into it too much, but I'm still a nurse. I'm working from home. It's a lot more money, a lot less stress, and I've got a way better work-life balance right now with everything. It's just, it's just, yeah, it's been the exact change that I needed. Um, I was feeling myself getting really burnt out. I had a lot going on, like I said, over the last year and stuff, and I just needed something else to get me motivated and look after myself again, um, which as nurses, we don't do very much. And I felt massively guilty for doing this because my passion was always GP. I always wanted to get into GP and it's still my passion. Don't get me wrong, I love it. Um, and I'll still promote it and I'll still be part of the GPN SNN and stuff like that. Um, but I, I just needed something else to, to get me back to how I am and my bubbly, happy, motivating self again so that I can be a benefit to everybody else. So I have changed jobs. Um, if you want to inbox me, please inbox me if you want to know a bit more and stuff like that. I just can't put it out there public or anything like that or talk about it, what I'm doing. But it's amazing and I'm loving life. Next update. Look at this. What does that tell you? Got a new fur baby coming tomorrow. I know. I'm getting a cat and um, its name is, his name is Isaac Mutin, which the RSPCA have named him. And I love it, so we're keeping the name. Um, he is absolutely adorable. He's a black and white short haired cat and he's gorgeous and I'm so excited. I wanted an indoor cat and he's got FIV, which is HIV, but in cats. I know, which I will talk a little bit more about if anyone wants to know a bit more about that because I'm researching and getting more information myself on it in cats. So I've never heard of it before in cats. So this is really new and exciting and he's very, very healthy. Don't worry, he's healthy. He's three years old and he looks like an amazing character. So I'm really excited and I'm gonna go get him tomorrow. So I will show you him when he comes home, when he's a bit more confident because he's got to get used to his new surroundings. So yeah. On other times I've uh, painted the kitchen look at this it was very boring and white before and I've changed it and then my landlord rang today to say that they're coming to do a spot inspection on Wednesday so I'm hoping they're gonna like it they said I could decorate so we'll find out that's a lot of updates all at once so that is my updates for now <laughs> um, I hope everyone's okay with everything that's going on at the minute and everyone's getting burnt out at the minute there's a lot of negativity in the world, so I hope that everyone's taken some time out for themselves. My thoughts and prayers are with Ukraine, Russia, um, everybody out there that's suffering as a result of these silly people in power's decisions. Um, I hope everyone's okay. I don't agree with weapons, I don't agree with war, I don't agree with anything like that. I wish the world could just live in happy harmony, wouldn't that be lovely? But I just hope that all of the innocent people of Russia and all of the innocent people of Ukraine that are being targeted and injured as a result of this, I hope they're going to be okay and I hope that this can be resolved soon. I hope and, and not escalate, we'll see. It's quite a scary world but I hope everyone's like okay. Whoever's watching this, I hope you're okay. And um, yeah, look after yourself. And as always, my inbox is always open for anyone that's struggling right now. Please inbox me because I will respond. And if I can in any way help, I will. I, obviously I don't know everything, but if I can help in any way, I always will. So yeah, inbox me. So that's it for now. I hope you all have an amazing day, amazing week, whatever you're doing, whatever your plans. Uh, and I'll see you next time.